Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is your host Tony, W4KWS. Thanks for tuning in today. Whether you're brand new or a seasoned operator, I've got six fun and easy ways to stay active in amateur radio. From satellites to portable ops, we've got something for every ham. So let's jump in, just so you know. Along the way, we'll be sharing tips on how to get involved, so listen closely. And don't forget to check out the channel for fresh ham radio content every week. Ham radio is alive and well in 2025 and beyond, and we want to help you be a part of it. Today we have over 775,000 registered licensed hams in the USA alone, and let's dive into the tips. So be sure to listen closely. With a handheld radio and a small Yagi antenna, you can connect with hams around the world via repeaters, satellites, or even FM simplex mode. This is one of the most basic and accessible ways to get started in ham radio. Simplex is primarily used for local communications. Satellites offer DX opportunities, while repeaters extend the range of your local contacts by relaying your signal over greater distances. Groups like Ares and RACES train regularly and support real emergency operations. Great way to give back and be ready. Check out your local teams and radio clubs for more information. Those guys and gals will guide you in the right direction. Portable operation is lightweight, low power, and high on fun. In today's market, you can set up a budget portable station. Example, lightweight POTA station, budget and portable small. Logbook or logging app, a lightweight folding camp table or ground map portable solar panel. You'll find help, tips, and live action. Almost on any band, it really all depends on solar cycle and propagation. In general, ham radio is a friendly hobby and almost always someone is willing to help. One great place to start is the W4KWS YouTube channel, awesome videos, projects, and operating tips made by real hams. We will always try to provide information, rich videos, and never try to sell you anything. Logging contacts is a great way to awards while enjoying the hobby. The ARRL has many awards ranging from work all states to working all DX stations around the world. There are several great tools available for working satellites, one of the most useful is a satellite tracking app or website. Tools like Heavens Above, a SOTS predictor, or mobile apps like ISS Detector and Ghostwatch help you know exactly when the next satellite pass is coming. Start with FM satellites. They're simple, fun, and perfect for beginners. You don't need any special gear, just use what you already have. A basic handheld radio and a small directional antenna can get you on the air, so don't be shy. Reach out, connect with others, and see where your journey takes you. You might just discover a whole new passion. It's really up to you to find what you like and what works with your schedule and resources. But there's something out there for everyone. Give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it, and don't forget to subscribe for more ham radio content. But Tony needs your support to help grow the channel. Every like and sub makes a difference. All right, let's get started. Number one, try satellite communication. You can bounce your signal off satellites, even the ISS. To get started, just listen in with an HT or mobile radio on the ISS downlink. Uplink U transmit, 145.990 MHz PL tone number 67.0 Hz. Downlink you receive, 437.800 MHz. Rack passes with apps like Heavens Above and you're ready to go. Number two, dive into digital modes like DMR, D-Star, and Yesu System Fusion. These digital voice modes let you talk to hams around the world, crystal clear, using the internet and digital repeaters. You can get started affordably with a handheld radio and a hotspot like a Pi-Star or OpenSpot, or connect through thousands of digital repeaters worldwide. It's easy, low cost, and global ham radio at your fingertips. Number three, join emergency comms and preparedness groups. In a crisis, Ham radio works when cell towers fail. Organizations like ARES and RACES train amateur operators to support emergency services during disasters. It's a great way to use your license to help your community and stay sharp with real world operating skills. Number four, try remote operating in SDRs. Can't set up antennas at home, no problem. Use online SDRs like QWizder to listen worldwide or control a full station remotely with platforms like remote ham radio it's a great way to explore the bands anytime, anywhere. Number five, go portable with POTA or SOTA. 
Take your radio outdoors, parks, mountains, even the beach. Parks on the Air is a program where you activate parks by making contacts from within them. It's fun, relaxing, and a great way to combine ham radio with the outdoors. Just grab a small radio, a wire antenna, and start calling CQ. And number six, get social. Online. Join Ham Radio Discord, Facebook groups, forums, and YouTube channels. What are your favorite ways to stay active in 2025? Share your thoughts below. There are a ton of ways to get involved in our hobby. Whether you want to learn more about radio, make new friends, or help out your community, there's a place for you in Ham Radio. And be sure to check out W4KWS on YouTube for more great videos and shoutouts. Thanks for watching. 73, and see you on the air.